Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Saint Reviews. I'm your host, Tanner, and today we will be reviewing a game that has quickly become near and dear to my heart, World of Warcraft. Specifically, we will be looking at World of Warcraft's newest expansion, Legion. For those that aren't sure what World of Warcraft is, it is a very old but successful MMO made by Blizzard Entertainment in which you create your own character and begin to neglect all forms of social interaction that don't involve a keyboard or a microphone. You can choose between two factions, the Alliance and the Horde, and play from 13 different races, 12 different classes, and each class has two or three different play styles for you to choose. And once you've chosen your class, you can begin your adventure. In case you couldn't tell, I love WoW. So keep that in mind with this review. However, I will talk about some of the negatives momentarily, but first, let's talk about Legion. The story of Legion follows the heroes of Azeroth, aka the players, as they have to fight back against an unstoppable legion of demons from the Twisting Nether. The legion is hell-bent on trying to destroy us as we've thwarted their attempts countless of times before. You have to go into the world and discover your class-specific artifact weapon, a weapon of power and sometimes iconic to WoW's lore, and slowly level it up with your character in order to defeat the legion. Once you collect your artifact and hit level cap, congrats! Now you have to wait for the first raid tier to come out or wait for the PvP season to start, like the rest of us. Now, you might be asking yourself, what's all this terminology he's throwing at us? Raids? PvP? Artifact? I don't, I don't get it. Well, don't worry. It's not that complicated. Once you complete your leveling experience, you can run some dungeons, which are instances you will join with five other players, that you will have multiple bosses and loot for you to collect. A raid is just a dungeon, but for 10 to 30 people. If that sounds lame and you want to crush some skulls in a battleground or an arena match against other players, then PvP should satisfy you. In PvP, the Alliance and the Horde fight against each other in either 20v20 battlegrounds or 2v2 or 3v3 arena matches. There's also a ranking system, so you can either be a casual PvPer or you can work on increasing your rank for in-game rewards. Now, let's talk about some of the good features, or some of the controversial and bad features of Legion. First, the good. The art department. Everything in Legion is breathtaking. The story is wonderful, and it's fun to feel like you're fighting an active threat of not only the Legion, but another one entirely, addiction. There's a zone called Suramar in which you meet these elves that are addicted to magic. If they don't get enough mana, they turn into mindless creatures called the Withered. It's very akin to the Dark Souls story, which I'm a fan of, to say the least. I enjoy the combat, while others might find it to be quite dated, as it's a tar tab targeting combat system from 12 years ago, but don't let that stop you from playing, as they've improved the animations of their characters in combat, so it feels much better to play. Some controversial or lackluster features, then. As I said before, some people might find the combat to be a bit clunky, but I don't mind it personally. Loot can feel like you're waiting on the RNG gods to grant you a good piece of gear, especially at the higher ends of PvE, player versus environment. Grinding your artifact power for your weapon can be a pain at higher levels, especially when splitting it between three or four artifacts. It can be very tedious to do the same content over multiple characters, though the different artifacts and classes break up the monotony. Leveling as a new player can seem very daunting, as 110 levels is a bit intimidating. However, the expansion comes with a level 100 boost, so you can jump right into Legion. That being said, Legion is rather expensive because of that, since you have to pay for $50 and a $15 monthly subscription fee. Now, a lot of people will look at the subscription cost and say, why would I pay a subscription just to play a video game? I'll tell you why. You like the game, and you want to keep playing. It's as simple as that, really. If you have the money for it, World of Warcraft Legion is a wonderful game with a huge amount of content to explore and enjoy, while it contrasts the previous expansion. As of right now, with this content patch, 7.0, there is a lot to do. The way Blizzard sets up their expansion is they will add more content patches, and for each patch, I will do a review to let you know if Legion is still enjoyable. My prediction for if it will be worth it later down the road is difficult to say as we need to wait and see if Blizzard continues to support their game or borderline abandon it like last expansion. 
Hopefully they will support it as they seem to have learned from their past mistakes. On to the rating. So I'm going to do a different rating system. I'm going to do a should you spend money on this system and a personal enjoyment rating. So first, should you spend money on this? As of right now, I would say it's worth it as long as Legion fits your personal preference. If you enjoy swords, magic, role playing, PvE, PvE, getting loot, exploring a huge world, leveling, or hanging out with some people in chat or a guild and you can afford it, then I would definitely say yes, it is worth your money. As for my personal enjoyment of Legion, since day one it has been very hard for me to put Legion down and play something else. There's always something to do, especially with multiple characters, and I've done nothing but enjoy myself so Legion gets an A plus in my book. But that's all the time we have for now, folks. Thank you so much for listening to Basically Nerd Rant, and I will see you all in the next episode of Saint Reviews.